Now, in the 60s, people from all over the world were drawn here by the prospect of jobs and a better life. Amongst them were thousands of immigrants from the Caribbean. One BBC film director decided to produce a film about the move called The Colony. Considered controversial back in 1964, now the almost forgotten film is being aired once more, as our arts reporter Satnam Ran has been finding out. Have you, you say, have you mixed with English people much? Hello. It's 1964, Hello. and this is a rare insight into the lives and voices okay, of Caribbean see. communities living in Birmingham and the West Midlands. The sun wasn't very bright. It was sort of hazy. I thought I wouldn't be able to stay in England. Many young men and Across women found themselves the in the UK trying to make a life for themselves. Amongst them, Perline, who travelled from the West Indies to work in Erdington. She features in the documentary. At that time, it wasn't easy to say you go in, get a job any and anywhere where you think you can get a job. There were certain places you could go and they wouldn't accept you. Perline was amongst thousands who made a home here in the 60s and her journey followed this. Arrivals at Tilbury. The Empire Windrush brings to Britain 500 Jamaicans. Many the SS Windrush saw the first wave of mass immigration from the Caribbean in 1948. Now, why have you come to England? To seek a job. And what sort of job do you want? Any type, so long as I get a good pay. Today, there are 41,000 people of Afro-Caribbean descent living in Birmingham. They form 4% of the population. You only have to look at music, culture, food, places of worship to see just how integrated they are in the city's multicultural communities. But cast your mind back to the 60s, and this was a community sometimes without a voice. The director of the film was a trailblazer, a pioneer, because what he did was to allow ordinary working class people, black communities, to put in their own voices the issues that they face and the experience they're having. Remarkably, Perline hasn't seen the film, but she will tonight for the first time. The Colony will be shown at the Drum Arts venue in Birmingham as part of Black History Month. Satnam Rana, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Well, Perline, a lot of people will see that film tonight. It's being shown at the Drum Arts Centre in Birmingham, and Joan Cummins is there for us now. Joan. Yes, Philip Donnellan, that man we heard about who directed the film, upset an awful lot of BBC bosses when he made the film in 63 because he said it was time people had a voice. Tony, you, you've put the film on here tonight. Tell me, was it just his BBC bosses he upset? I think he upset many people um, because it wasn't just the migrants from the Caribbean that he, he also made documentaries about. It was also um, the Irish community because Philip Donnellan was actually Irish, uh, the Irish workers that moved to the UK, and also travellers. So he was really representing the the, um, the sort of the communities that never had a voice. And um, the, the style of documentary that Phil, Philip Donnellan produced in the 1950s and 60s. Um, it wasn't about him narrating, it was about letting the people talk. And let, let's let the star of the show talk here tonight. Perline, there you are, 10 foot high behind you. Do you remember the film being made? Did, did you think that you were a trailblazer, a pioneer? No, I, I was just a worker at the time. And they came around and they took the photos. I didn't think any more about it. You know, working at the Valley at the time, it was just someone came there taking photos. Never thought any more about it. What and I look at you now. <laughs> you look like a, like a movie star now, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Well, at the time, you know, you didn't think that in anything about it. It was just doing a job and they came around, they took photos and that was... That was it. I, I, have to, I have to say to you that Perline has been incredibly modest. I see her, and I'm sure everybody else does, as a, as a bit of a pioneer. Now, if you want to find out more about this scheme and other, other schemes like this, other archive films, the BBC Real History Scheme, they have a website. You can look at the BBC website on history and find out far much more about Perline and other people who were in the film. Now, back to you. Thanks very much, Joe. Fascinating stuff, isn't it? Mm. I've got a little bit of football news for you. Mm.